So I'm at the rear left side. Now I did the brakes and rotors upgrade and then something wasn't right. Every time I put the caliper on, brake rotor wouldn't move. Um, so I figured, hey, I'm gonna go drive it, which I shouldn't have done. I knew I shouldn't have done. But yeah, I got the rotor so hot. I was like 430 degrees. So that was incredibly dumb. So thankfully didn't warp, it's still good. But, so I put the old rotor back on and still won't, now still won't move. So the only thing left to check is the rear caliper. So, got here a remanufactured one. Everything's the same. Go and get this old one off. It's a 14 millimeter. smell so it's gonna go back in the box now since I have it I'm just going to put the new caliper or this replacement on just to see if I can get the rotor to spin bear with me folks now if you're just gonna go and replace it anyways just go ahead and skip forward and ignore all this I just want to see what the heck is going on. See if I'm crazy or not. Even with the caliper completely, the caliper piston completely pressed in, still not able to do it. So we'll just see if it's just the caliper. Maybe if I do the caliper, the caliper bracket. This is just an experiment, like I said. Let's skip ahead. Bingo. Caliper. Caliper all the way. Like I said before, couldn't get the spin. So anyways, now we're gonna take this back off, get the bracket back off, get the new one put on, get the e-brake, and then now, now that we're all happy and on the same page. One of those very odd cars where the caliper is 14 millimeter, but the caliper bracket bolts, which are here and here, are 13 millimeter. Yeah, I'm thinking a lot of this has to do with this e-brake because it's all like seized and rusted up. It might be it, honestly. Oh, just... ah. But the, the right way. Me, I would just disassemble this whole back end, pop it all off, and then... But you know what? I don't feel like wasting too much time. It's hot, so that's what I'm going to do. smacking me in the face you guys can understand that sorry I'd like to show you guys the right way to do this but that was a 17 millimeter nut but the problem is Don't want to sit here and keep keep dealing with this. It's all seized up. 
There. You got that main one out. Top plate off. <sighs> Still not yet. Getting better though. There. Top plate. Now we got this part loose. There's like two little. Little wing. There we go. See what I mean? That's all you gotta do. That gets that out. Which again, I could have done that to begin with, but my problem is I'm having a hard time getting this out. See? That right there is the easy part. See these two little wings. Hope hope it's in the camera view nicely. Now you just pinch these in and that comes out. But, like I said though, my whole problem has been this. Oh, there, got it, finally, Jesus. There we go. Now, I want to tuck this under, pull back as far as you can. And then guide that in. And that's your e-brake setup right there. All right, so here we go. We're gonna be using a 11 millimeter. You should always crack these open. Always crack these open whenever, uh, you know, you have this on there just, just to have it cracked. Okay. <sighs> what a pain. Get yourself a bucket down there. Pull that down. Get rid of the copper washers. Now. One cup of washer with your new one goes through the top. Another cup of washer goes to the bottom. And then we reassemble. Just like that. It only goes on one way, so. So that's it. That's how you replace the caliper. That's the that's the hardest parts. Give them a nice little tighten it down real tight. Get a nice crunch. Wipe it up to make sure there's no leaking. And then we need to install everything and then bleed the brakes out. Um, I'm not going to film the putting it all back together because I already have another video on my channel about putting back the rear brakes to this. But just in case you don't see it, rotor, 13, 14, put it back together and you're done. And just to show you, 100% it was the last caliper. Because this thing is smooth again. It's nice. That's how it's supposed to roll. All right. Um, well, all right, next all you got to do is bleed it out. Get your bleeder tube. I need two people, so I got to wait. Um, I don't like those vacuum. I've tried several different types of those and each one, you know, I use it once and then it seems like all the seals fail because next thing you know, it's leaking like a sieve. So I avoid doing those. I like the old fashioned way. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So hope this video helped you. That's how you replace the caliper. Um, tons of good video videos on out there how to bleed it out without you hearing me yell down, up, down, up. You got it. Um, it's nice and pretty. Please hit that like button. Definitely hit subscribe.
I'm getting close to my uh, 2,000 subscriber, and that's very exciting. So thank you guys.